Alrighty guys, welcome back to the final chapter of Don Guy Rompa. It's a fitting name, goodbye Don Guy Rompa. Who knows if this is actually gonna be the end of the series, but you know this dude's gonna be like, man, I can't think of anything else to make. So I'm, I'm gonna reboot the reboot and actually do a prequel story to where they were actually, you know, before the time of the fucking arc going into space and this, fuck that, all right? <laughs> I don't know, but right now, um, the only thing right now we have to worry about is piecing together all the clues. Uh, I'm definitely gonna keep Abracadabra equipped because I, I, I don't have every, I don't have all the answers. And using some magic is coming handy. <laughs> but I have a clue. I have a strong feeling that your girl is the mastermind. But it's fine. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay if she isn't. But anyway, we're here to begin the final class trial. <laughs> oh my god there's no one here bro <laughs> it's just four of us and a robot and four bears five bears six bears too many people dead dog Suichi already I'd got like it figured to out. begin by asking Shuichi a question. Since this class trial was his idea... Yeah, boy. I'm the main character. What exactly is the point of this class trial? To expose. Yeah! Why are we having a class trial if no one died? Whoa! My voice was way louder than I expected. I might be on a roll today. Hey! I'm no slouch of being a loud mouth either! Me too! Monadam's voice is super soft though. Everyone cool with him getting blown up? You said that the killing game would end if you exposed the truth at the class trial. So, you bastards, what is the purpose of this class trial? Oh! That's a good question! Bruh. But his voice was quiet. Bruh, we really... I don't want these bears talking no more. Does force for him not matter at all? No, apparently not. The purpose of this class trial. All right, I'll give you an answer. The reason I called for this trial is... Try a pass case? Oh, the retry a pass case. I think this is it. <laughs> oh, yup, it makes sense now. I'm mad. I wish to retry a past case. Because Kaede wasn't the killer. Oh, <laughs> dude. Kaede wasn't the killer. Kaede wasn't the killer, dude. <laughs> well, which case? The first one. The murder of Rantaro Amami. I've found new evidence relevant to the case. In light of that evidence, I demand a retrial. What's the point of a retrial? The result of the first class trial has already been settled! Yeah, yeah! What if our vote was wrong? Ooh! Yeah. Ooh! Wrong. <laughs> Ooh! It's already getting... It's already popping! Monokuma said the blackened for that incident was Kaede. Are you saying he was wrong? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, the, the mastermind probably killed Rantaro because he was getting too close. Oh, it makes too it, it makes too much sense now. It makes too Why much sense now. Oh my god! Too extreme. It's making the rest of us look bad. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Oh shit, he's already got the detonator! <laughs> but his hand's already hovering over it. To test the validity of our vote, we're going to retry the entire case. If Monokuma was wrong, the validity of these trials would be in question. The entire killing game wouldn't make sense anymore. <laughs> right. I see. You think you can destroy the game by calling out my failure as the game master? You shouldn't have a problem with this if you have nothing to hide, Monokuma. 
<laughs> so in the end, the first case has become the focal point yet again. What a twist! What an interesting twist! Okay, let's do this! I super apologize. Um, I don't know what's happening at this point. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna edit this footage, but just so you guys know on YouTube, I fucked up and I apparently didn't record my audio. So I have to pull I have to pull the footage from my archive for like the first Oh, technically, since this is the first legit episode, I was recording a bonus episode earlier, so I gotta re-record that. But that's fine. But basically, I gotta pull. I gotta pull this first six minutes of this of the archive, and then edit it in with the the, the, the actual quality. <laughs> Fuck it. All you need to know is movie magic just happened, and I fucked up. So here we go. So what is this new truth? There are several, but before we go any further, I want to discuss Rantaro's talent. Did you learn what his talent was? Rantaro's ultimate talent was a mystery, but now I know. The ultimate victim. <laughs> ultimate survivor. I thought it was survivalist, but survivor. That's it. I thought he would be like the ultimate survivalist, you know, but he, he was the ultimate survivor. Was the ultimate survivor. He played the killing game before. Ultimate survivor? I saw it too. He said so in his video. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. Ha ha. That's why you get this perk, the survivor perk. Perk. Rantaro became the ultimate survivor after surviving a past killing game. After his memory was wiped, he participated in the killing game once again. So this wasn't Rantaro's first killing game? Nope. Why did he participate in a second killing game? I'm not sure yet. But after I learned that Rantaro was the ultimate survivor, I deduced his objective. Rantaro's objective? The reason he went to the library before he was killed, and why he knew about the hidden door. Didn't he just happen to randomly notice the hidden door? Nope. That's what I thought at the time, but it appears that assumption was false. There was an actual reason Rantaro knew about the door. This is map. His damn uh, monopad had all the fucking maps. Yes, that reason is. This is yeah, yeah, yeah. Survivor perk. That's it. The coyote told him, "Look at us." <laughs> Rantaro was given this monopad as a kind of survivor perk. It has a map of the entire academy, including areas that have not yet been unlocked. Of course, that includes the hidden room. To think Rantaro was given that as a survivor perk. He found out about the hidden room with this map? The monopad also contained a video Rantaro recorded for himself. Rintaro Mami. If the Mastermind ever needed a spare Monokuma, they would head to the hidden room. The message was what inspired him to go to the library to investigate the hidden room. The time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by nighttime two days from now, then every student forced to participate in this killing game will die. Moth to shreds by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma Megi machine. Mm -hmm. The mastermind would have gone to that room to mass produce Monokuma once time ran out. So, in order to figure out who the mastermind was, Rantaro went to the hidden room at the back of the library just before time ran out. 
Well, he didn't. He even if he did open it, he wouldn't have. He didn't know that there was a hidden path. That's right. Rantaro must have come to the same conclusion that Kaede and I did. Which is crazy. It sure is ironic that the ultimate survivor died because of Kaede's trap. But did he though? But if Rantaro had a clue like that, why didn't he come to us with it? I assume because he didn't trust us. The killing game had just started after all. What he said in his video message certainly didn't help either. He told himself to only share this information with people he could trust. Damn, that's unfortunate. He didn't have any recollection of filming this message, right? That means he must have had trouble believing it as well. It was probably confusing to him too. That's why he didn't consult us. Why the long face? It's nothing. I figured no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? Damn. This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do, so what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... Can I even trust myself? Damn. He didn't know if he could trust that video, or trust us, or even trust himself. He must have been so lost. But with the time limit approaching, he decided to take a chance. There's no need for that because I'm going to end this killing game. I've already decided. You're going to end this game? It's not about outfoxing everyone in this game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. The real goal? Can you even accomplish such a feat? I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. So we went to the library alone without telling anyone. And then he got killed by Kaede's trap. Nope. The only people who knew about the hidden door at that time were Rantaro and I. I had Kaede with me and I thought I could trust her. So I told her about the hidden room. That was the difference between me and Rantaro, I suppose. I had Kaede. And Kaede's the one who killed him! What a snake! Mm -mm. Hey, so what are you guys talking about? Is this something I forgot? I don't know anything about what they're saying. Is this something that transpired before we were born? So what's your point? You know who Rantaro was and why he did what he did. But it's pointless now, isn't it? No, it's not pointless. Now that we know this new information, if we look back at Rantaro's case, we can find a new truth that we missed at the time. A new truth? It goes back to beginning. It always goes back to the beginning. I don't really get it, but we just need to look at Rantaro's case again, right? Then let's do it. Yes, let's do this together. With my vast magical powers, I'll turn Monokuma into an omnibus. A nimbus? I don't really get that either, but I guess we're gonna republish Monokuma. I'm not too sure either, but the real battle is just beginning. We'll prove that the result was wrong and corner the mastermind together. All right. Non-stop eBay. Damn, there's a lot of stuff. Rentaro went to the library just before Monokuma's time limit expired. Yep. Using the information provided by the survivor perk, he made his way to the hidden door. To expose the identity of the mastermind. But before he could achieve that goal, he got hit in the head with a shot football and died. Because of Kaede's fully automatic killing machine. Eh? Fully automatic? There was no culprit at the scene. The only one in the library at the time of the murder was Rantaro himself! Uh... That's a fact, 
right? <sighs> the camera went off just before the incident. And only Rantara was in the picture. Alright. Rantara was the only one at the scene. That's what we concluded at the first trial. So Rantara, when Monokuma said Rantara himself, we gotta say there was somebody else there. Rantara went to the library. Yep. Just before Monokuma's time limit expired. Using the information provided by the survivor perk, he made his way to the... Yep, alright. So we gotta we gotta provide yeah. To expose yep, the yep, 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 yep. I already know where to present it to. But before he could achieve I already goal, know where to present it. He got hit in the head. What, Mon Mon Monokuma said. what Monokuma said. Cause of Kaede's fully automatic killing machine! Eh? Fully automatic? There's a culprit at the scene. The only one in the library at the time of the murder. Was Rantara? Oh, uh, Abracadabra? <laughs> That's wrong! Abracadabra! <laughs> Abracadabra! No, Rantara was not the only one in the library at the time the murder occurred. This survivor perk monopad is proof of that. Why would that monopad be evidence? The monopad was given exclusively to Rantaro as his survivor perk, correct? But when we searched Rantaro's body, he didn't have it on his person. He only had his student handbook monopad. Ooh, baby. Which means that someone took this monopad from Rantaro after the murder. Ooh, baby. That's very wrong. What the? Why are they interrupting? They don't have memories. Oh, that's what we've been saying. Before chapter six. What? Uh, keep quiet, will you? I don't have time for your nonsense right now. Really? I have no clue what anyone is talking about. If we don't chime in soon, Pops is gonna push the detonator. <laughs> then we better not let these fucking chumps run their maps anymore. <laughs> They're just here. They're just here to fill in the dead people. <laughs> this is hilarious. A bloody monopad is disgusting. You should wash it right away. Yeah, he had the monopad in his hand in the fucking picture. Someone stole the Yeah, in the picture he had his fucking monopad. It ma now the picture makes fucking sense. <laughs> the picture makes sense now, dude. Let's go. But remember. Rantaro brought the survivor perk monopad to the library. If it's missing now, that must mean someone stole it. He had it in the picture, bro. He brought that monopad to the library? Yeah, that picture makes so much sense now. Yes, this picture makes so much... I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, this picture doesn't make fucking sense. And now it makes sense since I've seen it in the evidence list. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. There's maybe no way that's possible. All he had on him was the student handbook monopad. He didn't bring the survivor perk with him. Oh, uh, cut that. I'll cut through your words. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. No. There is no doubt Rantaro brought the Survivor Perk Monopad to the library. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't put two and two together in chapter one. He had it in the picture back then and I didn't even realize it. I knew there was something about that picture, but I just, I was looking at it for so, in the original chapter one, I was like, there's something about this picture and I just don't get it. I looked at everything and it just didn't click. The picture taken just before he died clearly shows him holding it. It totally makes sense. That could be his student handbook monopad, bro. You fucking know. No, it was definitely this same monopad. You see the way the blood has dried here? Yep. The outline of his fingers matches how he was holding it in the picture. Oh, you're right. Shortly after this photo was taken, Rantaro was struck in the head by the shot put ball. Shot put ball? Do you think that's when this bloody outline on the monopad was formed? Would it? Would the blood would have splattered like that? I do. 
That's why the monopad Rantaro is holding in this picture. Has to be the same monopad we have now. So Luigi's too fucking smart. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> you too smart, dog. <laughs> Come on, no overreacting. It makes us look like we're not paying this attention. Dude, this dude is probably the best MC in the Dongan Rumpus in this because this nigga is too smart. <laughs> Scream all you want! is the one that's gonna get blown up! Ooh! You know you did win! Wah! Mono kid! <laughs> I was so upset my cute cubs lost that my finger slipped! But those were some pretty fireworks! Even in death, my kid's a real cutie! I hear lions push their cubs into bottomless ravines to kill them. They don't kill them. So there was a thief, huh? I can't believe someone would do something so evil. Bruh. So who took the monopad? Do you know anything else? Do we know anything about the person who took the rent? Yeah, they're the mastermind. They were in the fucking room. They brought it in the fucking bookcase. They brought it in that room. In the hidden room. Let me get the fast straight. Psyche taxi start. All right, here we go. All right. Psyche taxi time. Well, whoever took it had to be somebody known as the mastermind. <laughs> I love, I love how they still have that picture of Keeble rolling out the way, like he was Solid Snake. <laughs> My dude rolled. I can't believe I only got one. Mm -hmm. I don't need moto pads. I can't believe I just missed those. Uh, I thought I was a good driver. Oh my god. Two? How many moto pads did Brand Tower have in the library? He had to have two, the survivor her shit, and then his regular one. Hit him with the... Oh! Hit him with the dun dun dun. <laughs> Good. All right, here we go. Next question. What's the next question? What is this? Barely hit that. What is this? What is this? Oh! Come on, bro. <laughs> I love how I collected it while it was fucking crashing. <laughs> I love it. Which bundle pad was taken away? Obviously, the one with the fucking uh, the benefits, the perks. The one with the perks, 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 perk, perk, perk. Yep, perks. E handbook? Is that even a thing? Uh! Uh! <laughs> my voice is literally done. My throat is done, my dude. Like, <laughs> I can't explain it, but I can tell y'all, like, every time I talk, dude, that shit hurts. My, my throat is bothered. I need some, uh... Nah, oh, I thought I would get the second one. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's why. Yup. Wait, where's the one bad take it to? The stupid room! Bro, why am I on the wall? I'm going to crash. <laughs> okay, they, they got me off the wall. 
The hidden room! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you hit a girl with a car, they kiss you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to I'm about to get my driving license now. I'm about to hit I'm about to hit women in the streets. Get them kisses. <laughs> Bruh, what is this? You can barely get any of them. Oh wait, you can slow down. But why would you? Like it's pointless. Alright, cool. Come on! Come on! Oh, come on, bro! Oh my god! Who in third? Day? The only person could have was the fucking mastermind. I'm gonna be dumb and say me, you, and Ruma. That's what I'm gonna say. Oh, I'm missing every. Well, it's this. It's, it's not all my fault. It's not all my fault. Who can enter the hidden room? The mastermind. So I guess that's not the room Kokichi went into. Kokichi would have known a lot more. Hmm. <laughs> the mastermind. It connects! The one who took that monopath is the mastermind. Oh, Are yeah. you sure of it? A hundred percent. The mastermind? We got all, we got everything, my dude. The survivor perk monopad was found in the library's hidden room. And only the mastermind would have been able to enter that room, correct? Right. Between the time Rantaro died and when we found him, they put that monopad in the hidden room? Yup. Nope! That's impossible! Oh, you might- Don't say it's impossible. Slip up right now, Monokuma. I want you to. Impossible? Why? Huh? You don't know? Why, even my cute little cubs have already figured it out! Huh? We have? Yeah, so... <laughs> I'll let Monotaro explain. Bruh. Huh? I've already forgotten what we're even talking about. Somebody's about to blow up. <laughs> oh crap, he's gonna push it! It's gonna be Monokin all over again! The mastermind is not in any of the photos taken in the library. Why is that? Huh? Oh, that's true. In order to get to the hidden room, you need to move the bookcase, right? But Shuichi and Kaede set up those hidden cameras, so... If the Mastermind was using that door, they would have been caught on camera. But none of the pictures showed anyone like that. They could have came out from the other side. And yes, there's a way to get inside from the other side. <laughs> then... That reasoning is wrong. Amazing, Monodum! Well done! Hold on. The hidden cameras in the library had interval timers. Yup. After the shutter snaps, that camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. And you know what? The mastermind could have manipulated the photos because they control Monokuma, right? They working with Monokuma, so... Yeah, so that motherfucker gonna tuck out one of the photos. Didn't one of them say like, uh, this one only has two photos. I wonder why that happened. Motherfucker tuck away a photo because it incriminated him, I bet. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. Oh, they think they slick. Perhaps the mastermind worked within that 30 second interval? I see. So the mastermind hid in the hidden room. Waited for the right timing. They didn't know about the intervals. It was only me, Kaede, and uh, well, Suichi. Grab the monopad from the library and then return to the hidden room. Hold on! There's a flaw in your logic. 
What? What flaw? Huh? Don't ask me. The Mono Cubs are gonna explain it. What? Again? Reject your logic without explaining why. That's the Monokuma debate style. Take it from here, Mono Cubs. Uh. And you better use your brains or I'll kill ya. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know, I, we gotta look at the evidence and see what they'll bring up. Hidden room passageway, yup. I already know what, what we gotta do. Hidden room head? passageway, cause they're gonna be like... The, the hidden camera! No, maybe Isn't not. it weird that the mastermind's not in any photos? Unless they use the interval between shots. The sixth monocode. Ah. The true identity of the tiny bus Gunther that we saw. They are so small they cannot be seen by normal eyes. Ah! So, yeah! So, they could have used that to listen in on everybody. They could have used that easily to avoid getting killed themselves. Shots. That's enough time to take the monopad from the body. Then, where was the mastermind hiding? In the hidden room, of course! If they were still inside the hidden room, how would they know what was happening in the library? All right, now uh, uh, when the, the six went off. Poof. The, the six How would you know the interval timing? The six monocode. The six monocode. Yup. Now we've escaped certain death. This is what we gotta present. This is definitely what we gotta present. I know the mastermind was trying to time it, and of course the mastermind would be able to hit the right timing. What are we arguing about? Yup, the six monocode. The, the hidden camera. All right, I thought he was gonna bring up like, Isn't okay, how did they get into his room? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Unless they use the interval between shots. The camera has a 30 second interval between shots. That's enough time to take the monopad. Never mind hiding. In the hidden room, of course. Yeah, she's saying it with her chest. Inside the hidden room. How would they know what? <laughs> That's wrong. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. <laughs> The mastermind saw what was happening in the library. They had surveillance cameras. Surveillance cameras. Wh what? Where would uh, something like that be? You don't know? Even though they're monocubs just like you? <gasps> monocubs? I mean these. They're your siblings, too! That's a big reveal to drop so casually. These little guys are called Nanokumas. Their job is to monitor the campus. How do you know that? Right now, you're on the Oh, father told me. He said to make sure I told everyone. I had completely forgotten about it. Good thing I just remembered. Dumbass! You remember too late! <laughs> Somebody about to blow up. There are countless <laughs> nanocumas buzzing up. all over the <laughs> campus. All the footage they record is wirelessly transmitted through Mother Kuma. And then sent to Monokuma. Yes, via Mother Kuma. That's an important point. If Mother Kuma receives the camera feeds, the mastermind could ask it anything. They would know about the situation in the library and the hidden room. Yup. Okay. I see. Mother Kuma can tell them the interval timers for the cameras. Then the mastermind was in the hidden room after they stole the monopad from Rantaro. But why would they steal the monopad? The mastermind was probably terrified by the idea of us picking up Rantaro's perk. No, that's wrong! What? I wasn't necessarily afraid. The survivor perk was for Rantaro's eyes only. Sure, he could have shared the info with you, but that's not the same as getting the info directly from the monopad. Because then you can't say it was a survivor perk for Rantaro's eyes only, right? I guess. 
So when he died, I took it back. That's all. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> hmm. How do you figure? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you look calm now, but at the time, you must have been pretty desperate. The monopad clearly stated that there was a mastermind in the academy. Yep. <laughs> if we knew then that a mastermind was behind everything, we would have worked together. Yep. <laughs> you couldn't let that happen. Why are you so smart? You needed us to go after Why each other. Why is he so smart? <laughs> Why are you so smart? Either way, you admit <laughs> the mastermind stole the monopad, right? Well, yes, but only reluctantly. Then the mastermind messed up. If they wanted to retrieve the monopad, they should have used Monokuma to do it. Nope, that's impossible. The rules state I can't participate in a murder, which includes tampering with the crime scene. The school rules. If you're so strict about following the rules, does that mean that someone is watching? If that's the case... Still, what a waste of a survivor perk! <laughs> if that's the case, then who's watching? If only he lived a little longer, then this info would have made things interesting. Ah, stop changing the subject! <laughs> he, he changed the subject quick. I still don't have the whole picture, but it seems that we're all being watched. In that case, this plan should go well. If I ruin this killing game by pro proving that it doesn't follow its own rules, I should be able to end this whole thing. Yes, we'll be able to find out next time on the next episode of Dungan Rompa what happens next. So I'll see you guys soon.